Hi and welcome to the channel. Today we are going to analyze Charles Schwab. First we'll find out the dividend score and after that we'll check the valuation with the help of fast graphs. A large market cap of 138 billion dollars. The current stock price is 73.53 and they operate in the capital markets industry. During the last 10 years, they have greatly overperformed the S&P 500, and this is with the dividends reinvested. Now, some financial data. The annual sales growth past 5 years has been 13.1%, that's very strong. And the earnings has been 16.6% annually. And the analyst expects the future earnings to also be extremely strong at 19.25%. The average return on equity the last five years has been 15.2%, also very good. And the debt compared to the free cash flow they are in rating is a bit high, 14.62%, but their net cash is actually $95 billion, so it shouldn't be too worrisome. Now, some yielding data. The dividend yield is a bit low at only 1.21% and they did not buy back any shares last year. Actually, they issued some shares about 0.42%. The payout ratio is low though, 22%. The dividend growth rate is 20.88%, but they have not been raising their dividend for any consecutive years yet. That makes up of a score of 6 out of 10. Let's check the valuation in fast graphs. Here we have Schwab in fast graphs. And of course we can see that they didn't fare that well during the financial crisis being in the financial sector. They had an earnings per share at about a dollar and that went down to 0 0.38. So they, well, yeah, they more than half their earnings. After that though it's been very smooth sailing. And they have actually during the last 15 years had an annual EPS growth of over 11%. The dividend, if we check it here, we can see that it was actually kind of flat for many, many years. They started increasing it in 2016. But yeah, in 2021, they didn't increase it, probably because the disease. So this is not a great dividend growth company. But the earnings growth looks great. Let's check the valuation compared to their normal PE. The normal PE, it's the blue line and it's actually quite high, about 25, 26. And if we compare it to the current stock price, we can see that right now it's trading quite below the current PE at actually 19.5. And if we project out to late 2024, what the analyst expects, we can actually see a total annual rate of return of over 32%. Please hit the like button and watch my latest video right here about 5 brand new stocks I bought for my portfolio. See you soon!